Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Welcome back to Falling in Love with Right Now. Day 14, coming along. Uh, I shaved off my beard. I felt like, you know what, it's time. You know, I always like to change things up a bit, but, you know, usually I'll get the inkling to, to do something different. And this is good, man, especially with the heat in South Florida. It's like, whoa, okay. Um, anyway, like I said, uh, day 14, and not even really sure what I'm going to talk to you about, but I just kind of want to allow it to come through and be as genuine as possible. Um, and I just realized what I'm going to say. So vibration, vibration, or also known as frequency. So, so important. Our vibration, our frequency, our ability to emanate certain energy to the world is so so vital and significant to who we are, what our lives look like, um, what actually comes into our lives. You see, I used to hear all the time about the universe being impartial. And it's true to the degree that the universe cannot work outside of its own laws, right? So when you start hearing stuff like like attracts like and, and um, an eye for an eye, a match for a match, right? Those are vibrational, universal laws in play that allow us to basically see life unfolds as it is. So this is really good because, you know, we talked about forgiveness, total forgiveness and taking total responsibility for your life the other day. And this kind of ties into what is happening now. Um, so just to give you a clear example of vibration, so whatever pattern your life is unfolding in, that's a direct correlation to your vibration. That means that what you're emitting, your frequency that you're emitting is in congruence to what you're manifesting, right? So if you find that you're, you're struggling financially, you're struggling in, in certain areas, chances are you're emitting a low vibration. And that low vibration is producing basically unwanted or undesired results. So how do we fix this? Well, the first thing is, is we get to a place to where we are vibing high, as I like to call it, with everything in our lives. Sometimes we, we tend to overlook certain things. Like for a while there, I was eating junk food and like, well, fast food, not necessarily junk food, but fast food, which is junk food. But anyway, my entire life, every area of my life was going really well, but I was just missing the mark. I was just missing the mark a bit. And I'm like, man, what is it? What can it be that's kind of holding me back? And then I looked at my, my, my nutrition. I looked at how I was eating foods that had no nutrients, that were completely, I was just completely empty, right? And it was affecting my energy. So I couldn't do the things that I desired to do because I didn't have the energy. So I changed that around real fast. I started making my own food. My wife started making me salads, started cutting me up fruit in the morning. I started eating raw vegetables. And all of a sudden, it was like I could wake up at 5 a.m. and stay awake until like one or two in the morning, still not even being tired. But I was just vibrant throughout the entire day. And it was that simple shift. One of the, the this is one of the things we overlook is, is our nutrition. That's one of the biggest things. Also, and I'm living it, I think it's day 17 now or something like that. Removing yourself from social media, removing yourself from technology for a bit because technology dims your vibration. It dims your light. So you have to put yourself in a position to where you're not so fixated, especially if you're working a job where you're consistently in front of a computer. You want to separate yourself from junk food, empty food, empty calories, food that has empty nutrients, that has no nutrients whatsoever. And you want to put yourself more in nature, put yourself more into meditation. Um, laugh as much as you possibly can as well. This is the stuff that's going to raise your vibration. 
And if you're raising your vibration, you will see your life start to turn around. You see your life start to change for the better. If you're vibrating closer to um, a higher level like love, joy, I'm gonna put a chart up here in just a bit that you'll be able to see. If you're vibrating at a higher level, you'll start to see that you'll manifest circumstances that are in more congruence with that, that certain number like love, joy, gratitude, empowerment, things of the sort. And that's where you want to stay. That's what you always want to admit. And before I go, always ask the question, what signal am I giving off? What am I vibrating? What am I giving off to the world? And then wait and listen to see what you what it is you hear, and that will tell you the vibration that you're giving off. Because if it's not a good vibe, if it's not a beneficial vibration, then you can change it immediately right away. And the the, the, mo the easiest way to change it is just straight gratitude. Go straight to gratitude. Just start being thankful. Start being appreciative for anything you can. That will shift your vibration to a higher level. But keep an eye on what's manifesting in your life. Keep an eye on what's happening. Um, in your life right now, and that will tell you the main vibration that you're emitting. With that being said, I'm done. Talk soon, guys. Take care.